your name, honey? My name is Ashley. Ashley, where are you calling me from? I'm from Ohio. Ohio. How old are you? I am 35. I just had a birthday October. Um, do you have any kids? Yeah, yeah I do. How many kids? Five. Oh! Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. What's up, everyone, and welcome to another video. And before we get into the video, you know what we're going to do. We're going to roll that clip. What's your name, honey? My name is Ashley. Ashley, where are you calling me from? I'm from Ohio. Ohio. How old are you? I am 35. I just had a birthday October. Um, do you have any kids? Yeah, yeah I do. How many kids? Five. Five kids. All by the same man? No. How many men? Um, four. Damn. Why are, these, why are these questions so hard for you to answer? <laughs> They're not hard for me to answer at all. You're, you're take, you're, you're, do, do you not know them right off the bat? <laughs> How money should you make? I'm going to say like at least. I mean, because I have my own business. I have my own house. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. So it's at least like a hundred thousand. I believe it is time for us to really hold single mothers accountable. And I've talked about single mothers on this channel before, but I just feel like it needs to be said. Before you go out and have children, you need to ask yourself, do I see myself married to this man? Do I see myself going out with this man and being with this man long term? And when I say long term, I mean forever. Because you have to understand, having a child by the wrong man is like, getting a divorce but you have to see that person all the time because you're stuck to this man with a child and even if you move on that man is always gonna be there that man is always gonna be in that child's life that man is always gonna be that child's father so you are going to be stuck with this man regardless. And then if he leaves, you're stuck with the child and resentment toward the child and yourself. So instead of healing from that resentment and healing from that hurt and pain, you take it out on the child. The child didn't ask to be here. You brought them here because you were caught up in the moment. And a lot of women, they want to make excuses for why they became single mothers. Well, I was, I didn't know and everything changed. And the typical excuses that they love to tell me. I didn't know. You knew you just didn't want to face the facts. You didn't want to face the fact that this man was a POS before y'all had children and he's still a POS after. You would rather deal with pookies and ray rays. And a lot of women would say, well, they're not all pookies and ray rays that we have children with. Okay, show me a man that is not a pookie or a ray ray that is an absentee bomb. Don't worry. Our way. See, the thing is, is that a lot of women want a man that is like future, but they want future to be a blue collar or white collar guy. They want the hooky look, but they want the stability of a white collar or a blue collar guy. And you're not going to get that in the dating market. You're not. 
So instead of you finding a decent guy, you spend your golden years of life with pookies and ray rays, bad guys, men with swag, men who have stilo, men that have this. And then you wonder why a lot of these men end up being absentee fathers. They're absentee fathers because of you, because of the choices that you made. And see, this is what it all boils down to. This is what it is. You make a choice to be with a man, and then you end up with the wrong man based on your own choice. Pow. <laughs> Everything is a choice, ladies. That's why being a single mother is a choice. You can come for me in the comment section all you want. Single mothers choose that life. The only way that you do not choose if you are a single mother is if you were married and something happened to your husband. He died. That's a whole different story because people want to try and lump married people into the same category as being a single mother and it doesn't work because single mothers never get married. <laughs> Got it! Got it! <laughs> it's a whole different ballgame when you're married. That makes you a widow if something happens to your husband or wife. We need to learn that the choices we make stick with us forever. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next video, peace.